just wanted to make a quick video on this stuff, Seafoam Deep Creep. I have used this stuff since I had my uh, 97 Geo that I rebuilt. I used it on the Geo, I used it on the 280Z, I've even used it on a couple of my friends' cars, as well as this car, my Mercury. And what I've recently used it on was uh, I've been doing the shocks and, you know, the shock absorbers on this car. And from what all the forums are saying, and from what everything else, these nuts that you take off the top of the uh, shocks are usually fairly hard to remove. And from what everybody's told me, you need a impact wrench in order to get it off, which I have. It's no big deal there. But I didn't even need to use the impact wrench. This stuff, I sprayed it on two to three times on each side and just let it sit there for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Came over and uh, basically it was uh, pretty much loose enough and lubed enough to take off by hand. I'm not kidding. Um, of course it also helps that you know it's on jacks and everything, but it made my life a whole hell of a lot easier because before I put the stuff on there, this stuff was, these were not on finger tight. I can assure you guys of that. And even the other side, which is a bigger lifesaver because of where it's at, I can get the impact wrench in there, but or the impact tool in there, but it's a little, it's a little bit harder, as you can see, with all these AC lines and everything. And so I'm very glad that that's uh, helped me take it off. I don't remember how much this stuff cost, but uh, it's a very good automotive chemical. Um, it's definitely I highly recommend this stuff. Uh, Parts Blaster is also pretty good as well. Um, I don't have any of that on hand though, I don't think. But this is what I do have on hand and both of them are great products. So, works better than WD-40.